Welcome to a RV buying guide head-to-head -head battle. Today, we're pitting the Keystone Sprinter fifth wheel versus the Dutchman Atlas. Oof. Now, Chris, yeah. they're in competing spaces, yeah. and to make things fair, we're going to be judging them across four different criteria. You gotta talk about towability. Has to be average price point. Features. And lastly, we're gonna go over floor plans. So what do you say without further ado, let, let the, the battle, battle begin. begin. Ba -da -ba -da -boom. <laughs> Now, when it comes to towability, length and weight are going to be a huge factor. It's yep. going to be what you, it's how you're going to know what you're going to need to be able to tow it. So when, it talk, when we talk about length, mm -hmm. Atlas is going to run anywhere from 32 to just over 42 feet. Right. And for weight, from about 9,200 pounds to right around 12,000. And with the Sprinters, I'm not talking the Sprinter Limited, which is a package you can pick up from Keystone. I'm talking about just the regular Sprinters. They run from about 30 feet to almost 40 feet, and in weight, from 9,000 to about 11,000 pounds. Now, if you want to know what your vehicle can tow, we have a great towing guide at rv.campingworld.com of either the vehicle you have or the one you plan to buy. Yeah, absolutely. Now, the other part of towability mm -hmm. is going to be the hitches and oh, yeah. axles, right? Mm -hmm. So with the Atlas, we're looking at a Kurt Rotoflex pin box that uses a compound rubber to help control some of that bucking and chucking right. when starting and stopping your vehicle. Now, they're going to mate that with the Dexter leaf spring axles so that we have a nice, perfect, buttery smooth ride as long as you're on a smooth uh, highway or road. Right, okay, now that, that's pretty sweet, but with Keystone and the Sprinter, you're gonna get the road armor. You get the road armor hitch with max turn technology, hitch vision for easy maneuvering, plus you got that road armor suspension, which I gotta tell you, between the two, probably gives you a little bit smoother ride. Yeah, yeah, I'd bet maybe. It's, yeah. it's pretty close. Yeah, I'd, I'd say we're pretty evenly matched, but what people are wanting to know is gonna be price, so let's talk price. Yeah, you may have me here, Chris, <laughs> but the Atlas, we're having an MSRP from right around 75 to right up to about 100. Yeah, and with the Sprinters, you're looking from around 65,000 to roughly 90,000, but Sprinter offers smaller floor plans when you're talking about overall. That is true. So a little smaller, but a little bit little, easier little bit on the budget. Yeah. So. I get that, but honestly, I think I'm going to take you when it comes to features. Oh, no way. Uh, no way, no, no. Sprinter's got a 100-inch wide body. We got the Blade Pure High Performance Air Distribution System, plus an AC in the bedroom comes standard. Ooh. I got a 30,000 BTU furnace, plus a fireplace that's 5,500 BTUs, and nearly all of them have theater seating with light and massage. Some will have the trifold sofa. They do have the HE LED TV with sound bar, plus I got the speakers inside and out. So pretty stacked. All right, all right. You, I, you came came here for a fight. Okay, I get it. Ready to go. <laughs> so let's. But here we go. Let's get into the Atlas. So you're looking at a 15k BTU AC. Uh, the larger models will have an option for one in the bedroom, mm -hmm. so it, it is an option. Mm -hmm. uh, but all of them have a 30-inch fireplace. Unless you go to the King Bed series, you're going to get a 40-inch fireplace. Ooh. All of them have the HD LED TV with yeah. the multimedia center, plus the theater seats, and most models will also come with a tri-fold sofa. So when we talk about seating, I think I have a little bit of advantage. I think more of my floor plans are going to have better seating. Yeah, and you got a king bed. And I have a king bed. Yeah. And not only that, but the Atlas Kitchen has a lot to offer. I mean, you're looking at plenty of prep space, mm -hmm. large oven, you're going to have the recessed cooktop with the glass cover, microwave, of course, the solid countertops with a stainless steel sink, and that's going to be mated to the high-rise faucet with the pull-down sprayer. One of my favorite parts about the kitchen, though, Chris, is the super clean LED accent lighting that comes yeah, with it. That is pretty sweet. And for cold storage, there's no slouch either. Mm -hmm. Depending on the floor plan, you're looking at 8, 12, or 15 cubic foot fridge. Okay, I got them in three fridges. That's, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. But... Sprinter Kitchen, how about a 21-inch stainless steel oven, mm. three-burner gas range with glass top, stainless steel microwave, Okay. stainless steel undermounted farmhouse style sink with the high-rise sprayer faucet and pull-down. Okay, Gotta okay. Have it. Now the fridge, I don't have three, but right. I'm either gonna give you a 10 or 12 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. Most Sprinters also have pretty abundant storage in them as well. Okay. Now, Sprinter bedroom, now we gotta move down to when you wanna relax, that second AC is the first thing you're gonna see, it's there. Yeah. Queen bed with gas strut storage so it's supported, outlets for power, blackout nightshades, LED reading lights, as well as TV hookups. And right beside that, that's usually where you're gonna find the bathroom. And I think we kinda stand out there as well with the Sprinters. You either get the Neo angled shower or the 40 by 30 fiberglass shower. Both of them have the glass door, a nice skylight, and you get the Gerard tankless water heater. Ooh, I mean, come on now. Single piece pressed countertop and a porcelain bowl for the toilet. 
Yeah, those those are some great features. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. The tankless water heaters are fantastic, something that Keystone definitely did a good job on. But uh, it's not like you've won the fight here, Chris. When mm -hmm. We're talking about the Atlas, talk about the bedroom. It's pretty right. similar. Mm -hmm. Outlets, USB ports, reading lights, queen bed, but you can opt for a king bed in the king bed series, That's which nice. is a pretty big deal. That's nice. Another big deal, mm -hmm. the larger floor plans will also have washer dryer prep. Oof. So for people that want to have an extended stay, I think the Atlas is a great choice. It's now. Strong. If we move into that bathroom, mm -hmm. again, pretty similar, but you have a skylight. I have a 22-inch skylight. Okay. And an extra-large tub or shower, medicine cabinet, porcelain toilet. And get this one, Chris. This is a big one. Some of the floor plans have a double sink vanity. Yeah, I knew you were going to bring that. All right. But you know what? When you're going to go outside and camp, both of them have solid steps to get out there. Mine happen to have the more ride, and they're just a little bit easier to adjust. I, I would agree with you that. I, I think the more ride are a little nicer, but let's move over and talk about auto level because here it's standard, Oof, there it's an, an option. option. Yeah, okay. All right. Now, the other one is basement storage, buddy. So I'm going to have big, oversized, lit storage in the basement. Now, we got the same storage, but mine's going to be heated. And the storage compartments have motion sensing light. So that's a nice little safety feature. The heating's nice as well. I think one of the things Sprinter stands out though, solar. I think that's a big difference. Atlas has solar prep. Sprinter has the Keystone exclusive Solar Flex 200 with that optional 400i upgrade. Not to mention, you can opt for a pair of those 100 amp hour Dragonfly lithium batteries and that extends that off the grid camping, man. All right. Solar Flex is great, but yeah. come on, who's going to take a 39-foot boondocking? <laughs> all right, okay. all right. So okay. both right. both fifth wheels are built to take on whatever you want, right? Even, yeah. even full-time living. Yeah. Um, when we talk about the Atlas, you're looking at the Arctic insulation package. Mm -hmm. This is going to include a number of things. Uh, you're looking at the fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly with the Darko moisture barrier, Pretty making sweet. sure everything stays nice and dry. Pretty sweet. Uh, it's going to have the fiberglass insulation in the roof, mm -hmm. the radiant insulation in the front cap, which helps a lot with the sun beating down on yep. it. Reflect it. That's right. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have the uh, Luon paneling with the block foam insulation for those nice thick walls. That really does a good job and Atlas's are built extremely well. I, I give you a nod there. But you know Sprinter has the thermal package and it's temperature rated from zero to a hundred degree camping and that has been tested and verified by a third party. We also got the heated and enclosed underbelly but you know since it's Keystone you're going to get some of those perks like the color-coded unified wiring. If you do need to fix something it's a little bit easier to find and as mentioned earlier it's 100 inch wide body which allows for deeper drawers and cabinets plus wider hallways. In some cases you get almost an additional four inches of space in bathrooms and bedrooms. All right, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the wide body is nice. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes when you're talking about a smaller space, four inches can make a pretty big difference. Absolutely. But overall, I'm gonna say we're pretty even on features. Yeah, I'd let's so. Let's move into floor plans, Chris, because I, I, think, I think I might Oof. take you here. I, yeah, not only maybe. does Atlas offer a little bit more, but it's a more even split. We're looking at four bunk models and five couples models. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna come out swinging with one of my favorite floor plans, and that is the 3802 FLKB. Yep, you knew it was coming. Yep, yep. So this is a front living floor plan with an incredible master ensuite. Uh, up front, you'll have opposing slides with sofas, mm -hmm. and that theater seating is gonna sit directly across from the TV with the fireplace, just making that great entertainment space yeah. overall. When you take a few steps downstairs, midship, you'll find the kitchen, which is complete with an island thanks to the dual opposing slides there. You'll have a 12 cubic foot fridge and even an easy access half bath. But the back is really oh. where this one shines. You take a step in the back, you'll see the master bedroom has a king bed, Ooh. and there's a huge ma master bathroom with, you know it, Double the dual vanities. vanities. Yeah, okay, all right. So with Sprinter, they do focus on bunk models with five of the seven of them being built for families. And that one, that Atlas is awesome, but my 32BH Sprinter, fantastic. It's a bath and a half floor plan with a private bath for the bunk room. The kitchen has a large peninsula with a ton of prep space. We got a pantry, plus the TV is directly across from these super sweet overstuffed recliners that the private bunk room also has a slide out. You got a premium outdoor convenience center and kitchen and that sweet thing I think really separates the 32BH from other bunk houses. All right, buddy, I'll give it to you. Sprinter does have some great family models, yeah. but that doesn't mean Atlas doesn't. And mm. here's a small one that is absolutely fantastic and that's the 2942BHF because oh, yeah. Chris, 
you know, it doesn't have to be a big fifth wheel to be great. Sometimes yeah. great things come in small packages, and this is a perfect example. This one is under 34 feet, has beautiful farmhouse decor, theater seating across from the TV with yeah. the fireplace. You get the L-shaped kitchen, but they put a countertop extension on there because again, even though it's a little bit smaller, they really want to maximize the space. I dig it. In the back, you have dual bunks and they're tucked away nice and neatly. Mm -hmm. Plus up front, buddy, washer dryer prep. And when we go outside, that's right, I also have an outside kitchen. Okay, all right, that, I gotta tell you, that is an awesome model for being under 35 feet. But the 35 BH, this one is a beaut. Another bath and a half floor plan with half bath accessible from the bunk room and the outside. Private bunk room with stacked, get this, full size beds. Mm. Opposing slides in the living area allowing for a gorgeous kitchen island. And you got this sweet little angled entertainment center with a fireplace, great viewing angles. The bedroom has a residential queen size bed, granted not a king, uh, but the slide out wardrobe is there. And once again, I got that outside kitchen, which is pretty strong. I'm not gonna lie, 35 BH really is a great family floor plan. Yeah, Probably one cool. of my favorites. Yeah. But, but let's recap, right? Mm -hmm. So in every Atlas, you'll find theater seating. Okay. Auto level is mm -hmm. gonna be standard, okay. not an option. That's a big one. Got me there. Got the me larger there. floor plans will also have washer and dryer prep. So for anyone that's doing some extended camping, that's a big deal. Okay. And as we talked about, some models have that dual vanity sink, but also, or dual sink vanity, I should say. Right. But also, most models can have an optional king bed. And with all that, Chris, I'm thinking those are some pretty big advantages over Sprinter. The great thing about being almost bald is I don't have to worry about splitting hairs. So <laughs> let's not forget what Sprinter's bringing to the table though, okay? Wide body construction for deeper storage and bigger walkways. I got the tankless water heater, mm, the yes. Gerard Suite for near limitless on-demand hot water and much more. We got a comprehensive solar system with optional lithium batteries. You can extend the life of camping with those there. I got a second AC in the bedroom. It comes standard, not an option. True. And most sprinters are gonna be a little bit easier on the wallet when you're talking about purchase. That is true, Chris. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty close. It's I pretty, mean, it's pretty close, all. but I, I gotta tell you, I think Sprinter takes it. I, I disagree. I, I have auto level. I think Atlas takes it. Well, I guess there's really only one way to find out. You gotta tell us, what do you think? Are you gonna be Team Atlas or are you gonna be Team Sprinter? All right, guys, let us know in the comments. Until next time, we'll see you. Thank <laughs> you.